Hello and welcome to more yoga fitness. My name is Kathy. Today we're going through another chair yoga practice outdoors in the gorgeous Door County, Wisconsin. Go ahead and start with hands at heart center seated on your chair and we'll begin our practice. If you like the practice, please press the subscribe button and I'll see you at the end. Inhale, reach up, gaze up, exhale, hands come to prayer. One more time, take a big breath in and exhale as you draw your hands to heart center. Bow forward and take a twist here, elbow to the opposite thigh and gazing up and over that shoulder. Go ahead and open the arms up nice and long, increasing the intensity of your twist. Draw your hands to heart center and on your in breath, go ahead and unwind, reach up, gaze up, Hands come to prayer, bow, and twist to side B. Opening up the arms. Draw your hands back to heart center. Breathe in, gaze up, exhale, bow forward, and keep the arms reaching long, right alongside the ears. Bring your breath in as you lift up. Exhale as you bow over your lap. Draw the arms back, palms down. We're actually going to move here, reaching forward and then reaching the arms back toward the hips. Go ahead and hold the hands at the hips. Inhale, reach up and gaze up. Exhale, bow forward. Breathe in, reach up. Bow forward and sweep the arms. Breathe in, sweep them back. Hands draw to heart center. Inhale as you reach up and stand up. Exhale as we fold forward and sit back down. Breathe in, half lift, arms T, exhale and fold. Breath in as you slowly stand up, mountain pose, and draw your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down and take a seat. Breathe in, half lift, exhale, fold. Rise up and stand up, mountain, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up, exhale, seated, fold. Breathe in, half lift, fold. Rise up and stand, mountain pose, heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, seated. Inhale, half lift, forward fold, seated. Breathe in, standing mountain tall. Hands come to heart center. Moving on, breathe in, reaching up. We're going to draw the elbows behind our back, coming into cactus arms. Flow a few more times, breath in as you reach up, exhale as your elbows draw back. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Release. We're going to reposition ourselves alongside the chair. Pressing our hand into the chair, step forward with the right, step back with the left and come into warrior one, using the chair for balance with our left hand or releasing when you feel comfortable. And if not, that hand can always come down. Bow forward, come into a power warrior one with or without the chair. Flow here, inhale up, exhale, bow down. Breathe in up, exhale down. One more time, breath in up and bow. Hold here. Hands come down to the mat or a block or claw hands, the pads of the fingers. From here, try straightening the front leg as best you can and bowing the crown of your head toward the floor. This is pyramid pose. And you're also welcome to hold on to the chair. You don't have to be as low as I was initially. You can come up a little higher 
and simply place your hand on your shin. We're stretching out that hamstring and the whole back side of your leg. Breathe in as you rise up. Come into warrior two. Big bend in that front knee, squeezing the shoulder blades. Wrist to wrist, a straight line. Go ahead and grab onto the chair. Palm up, inhale, and reverse your warrior. Try to gaze at the hand reaching up toward the sky if you can. Returning back to warrior two. And stepping up to the top of your mat. Let's do that all on side B. Go ahead and step forward with your left. Step back with the right and come into warrior one, utilizing the chair with your right hand or releasing when you feel confident with your balance. On your exhale, bowing forward into a power warrior stance with both or using the chair. Flowing with our breath, inhale up, exhale, bow forward. Two more, inhale up and bow. Last breath in and out. If you feel comfortable, you can release your hand from the chair and then bringing your hands. I'm using the pads of my fingers so that I'm lifted up a little taller. On your exhale, straighten the front leg, come into pyramid pose. And again, similar to the first side, you don't have to be as low as I am. You can use your chair. Simply place your hand on your shin, stretching out the hamstring. Trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. Opening the arms up and bending into the front knee, warrior two pose. Always squeezing those shoulder blades. Using the chair for balance, inhale, palm up, reverse your warrior. Returning back to warrior two pose. You always have that chair right there if you need it. Good job. We're gonna place ourselves behind our chair, step back far enough so that when we fold forward and make a tabletop with our back, our heels are directly below the hips. Lower your armpits and your chest toward the floor and keep a loose grip on the back of your chair. Just press the palm in. And this is our modified downward facing dog. Step up just slightly. We're gonna actually stack our forearms and place the forehead on top of those stacked arms, reaching the right leg long into warrior three pose. Hold your leg level with the earth. Begin moving here, tapping the toe to the earth and lifting up, engaging your glute here, your leg, quad, hamstring. Hold your leg at the top and pulse, just a little bitty one inch pulse up and down. You can see my cute puppy right under my leg there, taking a little rest watching. Go ahead and cross knee over knee, coming into eagle legs here. And we're gonna utilize our chair for this balance pose, crossing the right hand on top of the left. You're welcome to lift those long arms up as they're crossed away from the chair if that feels good to you. And I'm also showing you eagle arms where you tuck right arm under the left and draw your elbows up chin height. So you have a variety of options here in your eagle pose, using your chair if needed. Release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Breath in, half lift, forward fold. Mountain pose, and draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slow swan dive. Inhale, half lift, and fold. Mountain pose, and hands to the heart. Breathe in, mountain. Exhale, fold. Half lift, fold, mountain pose, hands to the heart. Let's go ahead and find that downward facing dog using our chair. Bringing ourselves a little bit closer to the chair, folding forearm on top of forearm and grounding our forehead on top of the arms, lifting the left leg. Warrior three. Begin moving the leg as we engage our glute, tapping the earth and lifting up nice and high. At the top, pulse. Little one inch pulse. Take that left leg and stack it on top of the right, squeezing the legs nice and tight in eagle so you can maintain as best balance as you can. Crossing palm over palm, keeping the arms long, maybe lifting up from the chair back or coming into full eagle arms. Elbows lift, chin height. Or you can take any of the variations that I'm demonstrating here. Always the option to use your chair. Release. From here, we're going to bring our chair to the side. My right hand is grounded on the chair. We're turning our knee out at a diagonal and lifting and lowering the leg to engage our inner thigh area and also our glute and hip. Great for your hip mobility. Continue lifting and lowering that knee. The gentle tap of the toe on the mat. Coming into our dancer pose here, using our chair, knees come together Tilt your pelvis forward and draw your heel as close as you can to your glute. Stay right here, or if you feel you want to take a little bit more intensity here in this pose, bow forward, use your chair, press the top of your foot into your hand, and take yourself into a much deeper stretch. Return to knee. Point your long leg forward. Your toe is pointed. Tap the floor and lift. Hold your leg up. Release your hands if you'd like from your chair. A little more balance element. Lots of core here. And release. Side B. We're coming into, in bar class, it's called attitude leg. Lifting and lowering the knee. And notice it's not straight up and down. It's at a diagonal. Toe taps to the earth. And knee lifts. A little higher than hip height.
coming into that dancer pose. Stretching the quad here, tilting your pelvis forward, keeping the knees together and the top of the foot pressed actively into your hand. Taking that option to add intensity by bowing forward. your leg, point the toe, and extend it long forward, and lift and lower your entire leg as one unit, gently tapping the toe on the mat. Hold your leg up there, release hands are no longer touching the chair for a little more intensity and we'll move on my chair is behind me I'm showing you how I want your feet spaced turned out slightly and about hip width we're gonna take some deeper squats here knees are tracking between the big toe and baby toe and I'm using the top of my chair for balance Take your time in these squats. If I'm going faster than you'd like, you can go much slower. Taking it nice and low here and just doing a small pulse. Doesn't look like a big deal, but when you're doing it, you can really feel it. Strand up tall. Lift up on the balls of the feet for a moment. Maybe releasing the hands. I'm still on the balls of my feet. Hands come to prayer. Nice. Take a seat. We're going to cross either knee over knee, or the better option would be figure four leg if you can do it. Breathe in, reaching up. Hands draw to prayer. Drop your chest right down into your pigeon leg, and then drop your hands down to the mat. Just lay your chest on your lap. course you can do this with the crossed legs like we showed at the beginning of this series walk your hands slowly up keeping a long arm pressing into the inside of the knee and taking your gaze over your opposite shoulder the right one come back to center Take opposite arm, the left one, grab the outside of your left thigh and laterally bend using your right arm and reaching to the side, drawing your bicep to your ear. Inhale, come back up and we'll repeat those poses on the other side. Keeping the knees crossed is option one. Figure four, option two. Inhale, reaching up, hands draw to heart center, bow forward, and take a more intensity in this pose by reaching the hands down toward the earth. Walking your hands up nice and slow till you're in straight spine. Pressing actively the left hand with a long arm into the knee, inside of the knee, as you twist and gaze back over the shoulder. And come back to center. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Left arm laterally bends, drawing the bicep to the ear. Allow your crown of the head to turn off to the side as well. So you really get a nice opening through the rib cage on the left.
inhale as you rise back up and uncross. Bring yourself up off of your chair and reposition it so that the chair back is away from you, but you're grabbing onto the chair back and hovering over the seat of the chair. We're going to do some narrow squatting here, sitting the sits bones down a little bit closer toward the earth and then straightening the legs. Using the chair back to assist you, we're going to flow through a cat-cow. Go ahead and round your spine, tucking chin in toward the chest and opening up the heart and lifting into cow. Rounding into cat. Lifting into cow, gazing up. Rounding into cat. Lifting into cow, heart lifts, chest lifts, round. And come back into standing, reaching up. Hands come to the hips. Again, we'll reposition our chair. Taking a seat, positioning your sitting bones at the edge of your chair and extending your right leg long, toes to the face. Breathe in, lift your rib cage, and on your exhale, sliding your hands down till you're reaching for your ankle. Stretching the hamstring again, drawing the crown of the head down toward the floor. Maybe shaking your head yes and no if you feel tightness or tension in your shoulders and neck. reaching for the pinky toe side of that extended leg and you can actually position yourself anywhere so that you're reaching the outside of the opposite leg but intention is bringing yourself down toward your ankle but feel free to maneuver around reaching down both arms come up and come back to center. Switch to the left leg, extend it long, flex toes toward the face, breathe in, lift your rib cage. On your exhale, slide the hands down your left leg toward your ankle as you bring your chest to thigh. Reaching your right hand to the outside of your left pinky toe, or maybe you aren't wanting to fold quite so far. Just bring yourself up a bit, essentially anywhere along that outer edge of your left leg is fine. Bring your hand back down toward your ankle and inhale, reach both arms up. From here, we're going to do a series of arm movements using your right arm. Inhale, laterally bend. Open up nice and wide. Exhale, sweep. Open up wide. Bend. Open. Sweep. Open. Four. Three. Two. Left arm, bend, open, sweep, open, bend, and sweep for four, three, two, and one. Continue our arm flow movements using both arms. Inhale, T arms together breathe in overhead out together out overhead a few more rounds breathing and flowing with each arm movement out forward out overhead Remain 
and seated, close your eyes and connect your thumb to any one of your fingers for our final breaths in this restful pose. Draw your hands and press them on your chest, feeling your heart beat as you continue with those deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Hands come to heart center. Let's take one final breath together, thumb knuckles to our third eye, exhale, bow forward. Namaste. The divine light in me honors and respects the divine light in each of you.